Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to another code solution um, tutorial. All right, this time we're going to just keep it very simple. All right, a lot of persons code in Note, Notepad++ and what happens is most of the time you guys start to code and if you're a beginner, you are, you are faced with this white background, this one right here. And if you're going to be coding for a long time, one thing you are going to start wondering is, I don't want to damage my eyesight. I don't want to be staring at this bright screen throughout because that can lead to problems later on. So what you want to do is change the theme of your Notepad++ and maybe choose a darker theme or something. But the question is, how do you do it? So I'm here to show you just that. All right, so let's get to it. All right, to change the theme in Notepad++, what you need to do is go to Settings, Style Configurator, that is Settings, Style Configurator, click on that, and when sh what you'll see is select a theme. You would automatically on your default, all right? And then over the side where you see language, you see a bunch of languages that you can, programming languages that you can actually use with Notepad++. What you can do is save a theme or, um, or uh, preset a theme for that particular um, a language. But overall, I'm just going to change the global one. So you keep it on global styles and then you select a theme. So you just click the drop down here and let's just say I'm going to click and this gives you instantly a preview of what the theme looks like. So you can click blackboard, um, even hello kitty, which is very bright and disgusting and hard to look at and even hat fudge Sunday. All right, which eh, not that great. And you can even go to twilight. All right, twilight kind of looks familiar and nice. And I'm not talking about the twilight with the two guys and the chick. No, <laughs> this, this is a different one. And you can go over to the font side, it's the size, and you can select a different font. If, for instance, you can't see the small text right here. So I'm going to go here and select a next font size. Let's just say I'm going 16. 16 is always a good font size. And you could click on bold, italic, underline, all of the good stuff. But you don't probably want to put on underline. Don't do that because it can mess up you, whatever language you're doing if it has, you know, features that are already underlined. And you can just simply save and close. The next time you open Notepad++, you'll see just that. That is now your global style for Notepad++. So happy coding, guys. And, you know, it seems like a basic video, but when I started with, with Notepad++, this was a hard thing to find because it's not where you think it is. So remember, it's in Settings, Style Configurator. All right, guys, um, thank you for watching. If this video helped you, we do stuff like this all the time. So like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. It really helps this channel. Thank you very much, guys.